All right, guys. So earlier today, excuse me, I put up a video showing you how to use WS form, submit, go to a thank you page, and then retrieve all of the fields and information about that form so you can display it on the thank you page. Uh, a question came up from someone, excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold here. A question came up asking me how you would do the same thing, uh, displaying the information in a pop up rather than directing to a thank you page. I've done this kind of thing before using local storage and other builders uh, with other film builders. And when I looked at this, it is much, much easier with WS form. I'm going to show you how that works. So if I put in, say, autofill here, blah, 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 hit submit, I get a little pop-up message saying, thanks, with my name, we'll contact you ASAP at my email address or on your phone with my phone. Pretty straightforward, right? So let's have a look at how that actually works. So the first thing we're going to talk about is that we're going to use a uh, built-in Bricks pop-up. Um, I prefer the Bricks modals, uh, sorry, the Bricks extras modal than the built-in pop-ups. They just work better. Um, they work as inline elements. You don't have to create a separate template for them. Um, but if you don't have Bricks extras, I, there's no point in me showing you this. So I'm going to show you using the one that comes with Bricks. Here we go. So if we go to our templates, our Bricks templates, I've created a success pop-up. So the type of template is a pop-up. Uh, I've just set the conditions for the entire website. You'd put that on whatever pages that are going to need it. Uh, and if we have a quick look at that and edit well with Bricks. Boy, that's slow. Okay, so <clears throat> the only thing that's important when we style it up, however you style your pop-up, only thing that's important here is this heading element here. Um, I've given it a, I'll zoom in a little bit here, a class name of pop-up underscore underscore heading. And with this other box here, which is basic text box, um, I've given it a class name of pop-up underscore underscore message. Let's put three dots in there and I've made it a div. Reason I've made it a div, we might have HTML in the uh, message that we send to it, um, which would not be semantically correct if it's inside a p tag. So um, let's make it a div and send the correct um, HTML if, if we need to. All right, so that's all we do to prepare this pop up to be used by WS Form to auto populate those, um, those fields. So just these two. Uh, class names of heading and message. Okay, the rest of it is just standard pop-up stuff. So you style it. That's not what this tutorial is all about. All right. From the WS form side of it, um, all we're doing on that is once you've created your form, um, go into your actions, and we're going to put an action in there called Run JavaScript. So have a look at that. Um, basically, when you add a new action, you just select Run JavaScript from the action dropdown. Uh, and when the form is submitted, I'm going to click this little uh, maximize or expand up the top here because it's a very small area to look at. And with that, we just always, always, always put your JavaScript in a closure so that it doesn't clash with any other context. Um, so you don't have to worry too much about naming of things. But anyway, so we want to get a pop-up ID as a constant of 781 in my case. And the reason for that is if I go back here, So when I created my uh, success pop-up, it gave it the ID of 781. You can see that here in the shortcode. So 781 is my shortcode. Uh, so WS form, where is it? So in here, we just put 781 in as the pop-up ID. Okay, we then want to get a DOM reference to that pop-up. So we're going to get a we're going to set a constant of our pop-up element as being the document query selector data pop-up ID equals the pop-up ID. Let's have a look at why that is. If I just submit this again, have a look at my pop-up. You see that Bricks gives the pop-up here a data attribute, which is data pop-up ID 781. So the ID of the uh, template 
and that's the data attribute. So we want to target that. So back over on our form, so we target the data popup ID equals our popup ID and get a reference to that DOM element. Now within that DOM element, we created two elements, which is a heading and a text box. And on our heading, we put the class of popup underscore underscore heading. And on the message, we did pop up underscore underscore message. So we need an element reference to each of those from the pop up element down. Okay, so that's just going to get our heading and our message. We then have a helper function from Bricks to open up the pop up based on the ID. And then the heading element, we're going to set our inner text to thanks. I've got field eight. With the message element, it's inner text is, is we'll contact you ASAP at field 10 on your phone or on your phone, field 11. So where do these come from? So if I look at this field eight, I'm just going to get rid of that. I'm going to bring up my, click on the little burger on the top here and bring up my fields. I make sure my cursor is just after there, after the thanks, and then click on first name. It'll put in the placeholder for that field. Same with this. If I get rid of that there, that's my email. So my cursor's there. Click on email and it puts in the field 10 placeholder in there that's it that's all you need to create the message and that's done hit the save uh, hit publish um, put your form on a page and then you've got this ready to go so it's really really simple it is no additional plugins no you don't need any wp code box anything like that you can run that javascript directly from these form actions which is absolutely brilliant so unless you've got a lot of JavaScript. If you want to run a lot of JavaScript, I would probably just call a function from here and then use WP Codebox to to you know write out all your JavaScript. For a small amount of JavaScript like this, just stick it in there. That's what I would say. Uh, anyway, that's it. It works. Hope that helps you and it's something that you can use.